Okay, I want to share with you one of my very favorite tools for reading in a foreign language, and it's called Readlang. So I really like to read on smaller devices as much as I can, and I've not tried this on my iPad. It's a browser extension, uh, but it's a, a fantastic tool to really lower the frustration level when you're reading. Uh, when we learn how to read in our own language, we're learning what the language we say looks like. And then of course, once you learn to read, you can read to learn. And when you can read to learn, you can learn absolutely anything. And what's great about being an adult language learner, and I include teenagers in there, is that you can always, you can already read. So you get to use that skill, which is transferable in literacy. So, Read Lang, I installed it. If you see, I've got my Italiano, I'm working on my Italian, and I wanna go to English. And basically I get to read, and if I don't know what the, a word means, instead of translating the whole page, I can just open those up. I can make flashcards. Uh, the free version has worked really well for me. You can read every day, but I do think that it's, limited and they'll actually suggest a lot to you. So let's open up Readlang. So you can make flashcards, which I think the free version, they limit. Those are the words that I looked up. They tell me where to get from, get it from. I've got home. Um, there's lots of suggestions. So I could really do all of my pleasure reading right from Readlang because I can find content constantly in the language that I'm learning. And what's also very cool is that you can upload text and use it. So if you have something that's PDF that you wanna read, you can upload it. And again, just switch your languages here. Look, your first language and then your second language. One of my very favorite tools.